Okay, so I think... Yeah, this is Iron Cove, so I am missing... I'm pretty sure it's a raven. But I'm going to look it up just to make sure. Unfortunately, there we go. Yeah, it's a raven. Can I not climb up here? Jeez. <laughs> I'm pressing circle and it's just not working. So it looked like there was some... Hang on, it might be over here. Or maybe not. Man, I, I just don't know. Well, there it is. Of course, it flies slowly, so I gotta wait for it. Are you kidding me, you jerk? Damn you! Stupid bird. There. I think I might have missed that, but I think the game just felt bad for me. Alright. So now the only thing we should have left to do... Well, no, that's not true. I'm pretty sure the only thing left to complete is... Well, we have the mountain and the foothills. Right then, where were we? Ah yes, Odin was plotting the downfall of Starkath, the mighty eight-armed giant. But even Thor wasn't stupid enough to take on Starkath on his own. No. Instead, the Aesir set forth slanders upon Starkath's name, branding him throughout the realms as a monster to be feared. They said he abducted an elf queen who killed herself rather than be ravished by the giant. Lies, of course, but you're too young for her story. In the end, even the Vanir gods and the armies of Midgard were roused to the cause. They surrounded Stark, showered him with arrows until he was brought to his knees. He surrendered, hoping by trial he could clear his name. Thor took advantage and ripped off one of Starkath's arms, which only made it easier to sever another and another until he was satisfied. Relieved of six arms and too much blood, Starkath perished on the battlefield. Ah, I regret it to this day, you know. I told myself there was nothing I could do, but I wish I'd tried. All right, so I have no idea if I'm going the right way for this. I mean, we'll see. I doubt it, though. All right. So I I don't think I was going the right way, so I just came back to uh, Brock and Sindri's shop in Pierce Temple. So uh, for that one quest we did, that... The one we had to uh, find the special materials or something. Uh, these are our rewards. So we either make Brock's Dwarven armor or Sindri's. And I did some research on this. And so Brock's armor will allow me to be more aggressive. Because each one of his armor pieces increases the rate at which rage is gained. Gosh. The rate at which rage is gained. There you go. Sindri is grinding on some or grinding something, and it's really like distracting me. <laughs> so it's really hard to talk here. Uh, so there's three pieces of armor. Each one increases rage by 10%. So you know you get 30% increase to your rage gain. So. That would be good if I want to be super aggressive. Sindri's stuff gives us different perks for each one, and it focuses on runic and cooldown. So, you know, we get 
protective barrier for the chest plate or breastplate. Um, and for the wrist, we get more burn damage. And for the waist, we get more frost damage. Which sounds really cool. I kind of like the sound of Sindri stuff better. But if you don't use runic attacks a lot, then it's kind of like not worth it. But I, I am starting to use runic attacks a lot more. With Brock's armor, you get to use rage a lot more. But I usually save my rage for like last resort stuff. And I don't think I can get both, but I don't know. I just I feel like Sindri's armor would be better. So I think I might go with that. Also, this talisman we got from that Valkyrie sounds pretty good. Summon a realm shift that temporarily slows down surrounding enemies. Upgrade to increase duration. Yeah, that's not too bad. This one's not too bad either. But this will go up to like level what? Six? No. Three, four, five. Level five? This one is already level six. It's like I kind of want to... I haven't even been using this, so... Let's go ahead and upgrade this one. And I need more Asgardian Steel. That's unfortunate. And then I think my Traveler armor is maxed what out. What was the other thing? Yeah, it is maxed out. So this is as good as it's going to get. What's it gonna be this time? And this stuff will... Level up more, okay. So I think I want to go with Sindri's armor. Because I'm not really one to use Rage... A lot. I use it sparingly. That's the best way I can describe it, so... I think I'm gonna go with Sindri's stuff. So I'm gonna craft this, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade it. Go through all this so you don't have to sit here and watch. I know I just wasted a lot of time explaining it, but I feel like it's kind of important. So, I'm going to go through, equip all this armor and stuff, and then I'm going to go through the Vanaheim Tower and hope that brings me to uh, either the foothills or the mountain. But, we'll see. But anyway, I will be back in a sec. Alrighty, so I went and equipped Sindri's armor. Um, we went through the Vanaheim Tower, and uh, that brought us to the foothills, so that worked. Now hopefully this brings us to the Valkyrie's hideout, whatever it's called. Well, it should, because this is we, yeah, we have another elevator. Man, I just cannot speak today. Also, it looks like my health is lower than it was. But I don't know, maybe that's just me can't tell. I mean, I think I did lose some vitality, so that kind of sucks, but you know, I think this armor should work pretty well. At least better than the Traveler armor, but I could be wrong. The Traveler armor does give me, you know, like a free hit because of the, uh, the protective barrier thing but this should give me the same thing I don't know so apparently this fight is supposed to be done at oh hello oh you are a jerk um it's supposed to be done at level 6 if you want a challenging fight or level 7 if you want to easier fight and we are a little bit more than halfway through level six which kind of sucks oh that is not what i wanted oh no i should have waited for that that's fine yeah we're close to level seven but we're not there it's just yet 
We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is aye. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Yeah, so this is the last... This is the last one we need for the foothills, so that's good. So, we'll just go ahead and try this. Prepare yourself. Doing that attack too. So maybe they all like burn off of their. burn off the other Valkyrie attacks. Oh, that was fast. I should be shooting her. Oh no. Trying to be careful here. I'm trying to wait for her openings. He's gonna trace his arrows a lot. Oh, that one I probably could have blocked. I I might die here. Nope. Want to find me a health stone? Thank you. This is not fair. Oh. Yeah, I came into this fight without any rage, so... Oh. I have that resurrection thing. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I barely hit her. No. Look at that health. No. Oh. I'm dead. Damn. I was so close. Man, that blindness thing sucks. It really does. Oh, it didn't save the thing. Man. Damn it, I I tried to dodge that, I was a little too late. Oh, 
can't believe I dodged that one. Well, Hellstone still stun enemies, so that's good. Dude, what the heck? Much better. Ah, freedom! Cursed no longer! <laughs> A joyous day indeed! Oof, this one is louder than the last. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know! The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! Somebody made them this way. Who? And why? I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive! I know many things. Ted? Uh... Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had... history, I guess you could say. Like... Romantic history? Ah, oh, lad, you're making me blush. I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind the distraction. Alright. There's two Valkyries down. They're probably going to be in the same video because I've been exploring so much and I haven't really had much to, uh... I haven't had much content going on, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh well. We'll see what happens. I kind of forgot I'm making shorter videos, so it could, could be in different videos, but who knows. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's it for the foothills, right? Yep. Now we have the mountain. Uh, oh, I have a gateway. Nice. Now if I could figure out how to get out of here, that would be good. lost. Yeah, so that fight was a lot tougher, but you know, once once I figured out her moves, it was like it's not too bad. But I also made use of my runics and my realm shift quite a bit. And I noticed my runics charging up pretty quickly, like like really quick. You know, I look down at my runic things and I'm like, oh wait, that thing's already back up? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm kind of happy with this armor. I do like it. <gasps> that was weird. <laughs> it's kind of like stuck there for a sec. So, we got Raven's lore marker. Two artifacts, a mystic gateway, and 
probably the Valkyrie, so... Okay, I'm probably going to have to focus on the artifacts. And maybe the lore marker, because usually in the Valkyrie layers, they have... Uh, they have a Mystic Gateway there, so you can fast travel back and forth if you decide not to fight them. And then... The Undiscovered thing is usually a Valkyrie. And there's usually a Raven inside the Valkyrie thing, too. Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna go explore this area, and we will see what I can find. I hear the Raven. But I can't see it. I'm pretty sure it's... Somewhere on this bridge. But I don't know. Also, I turned the brightness down because... Because of the, uh... The outside brightness, but... I don't know, it might be hurting me here. I don't know where it is. I hear it clearly. Somebody wants to get parried. Like, I came in here, I heard it, and I was looking for, you know, a broken bridge or something. I didn't even... I thought it was going to be on this thing, because I didn't realize this was a bridge. Oh, well. So that's one down. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. So I think the fourth one is going to be inside a... Uh, it's going to be with the Valkyrie. What else do we need? Mystic Gateway, that's going to be with the Valkyrie. We're missing two artifacts and a lore marker. So. Also, I should explain. Uh, I tried fast traveling up here to the summit of the mountain. But that just took me, obviously, to the top of the mountain. That's kind of where we met Mimir. And then I went through the mountain a little bit and took us to where we slayed that one dragon. Um, and then there was nothing there. So I just wasted all my time going through all that. And so what I did, I fast traveled back here to the hidden chamber that we were just at with the Valkyrie. With uh, Deirdreful, I think her name was. And I just traveled this way. So... Yeah, I wasted, like, a good maybe half an hour. I don't know. But I wasted a lot of time. So that's that's unfortunate. But anyway, I am going to continue looking around here. some health. Cool. Well, I'm glad I saw that out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Just look at this place. It feels so... Dead. I was gonna say ancient, but it works too. Depends on how you look at things. But I'm gonna have to retrace my steps here. I'm gonna go to the beginning of this area and see if I see something so apparently there's one of these torches here and uh there might be like a uh, a broken door next to it and i definitely could miss it oh is this a missing this must be one huh 
So now I gotta find a crystal thing. That must be the lore that I'm missing. You know what? I could just take this. Oh, but it's gonna take forever to walk over there. I don't know what this does, or, you know, I don't know what that did. I'll probably just take it back just to be safe. Can you read it? Oh, you have to light it, right? Yeah, forgot about that. Rites of Jorgen. Here we bear witness to the funeral rites of Jorgen, of the Jotnar, goddess of the earth and trees. For her beauty was she was seduced, for her love she was betrayed, and for her gift of life, her life was claimed. To the summit and across the bridge she shall be born, where never more thunder may find her. Did Thor kill his own mother? Was that the first giant he killed? What does it mean? So, at least I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's, uh, that's good. So I'm going to put this back over here just in case it did something. I don't really know if we need that. But it's better be safe. Now, the only other problem is trying to figure out what to do with this thing. Or... Er, Trying to figure out where these artifacts are. So I'm gonna look around and we'll be back in a sec. Whoa. Oh dear. Ow! Oh, look at this. Ooh, good find. I don't know how I missed that one. Cause that was pretty easy to see. But again, I was probably not really paying attention too much. So, anyway. Uh, oh, there's the uh, thing over there. I might just open this up right now and activate the, uh, the gateway, but I don't know. I, I need one more artifact, right? Yeah, okay. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this up. That's the wrong button. Try that again. I'm gonna open this up. Um. Oh, come on, I was like... There. Alright, so we'll open this, we'll go inside. So then I at least get the gateway unlocked, so... Well, at least I can do that. I can have a fast travel point. Because the last artifact, I don't know where it is. Apparently, this concrete fight is at my level, so... Actually, I might be a little over-leveled for it, so... Yeah. Maybe we'll just do the fight. 
worry about the artifact later, because, you know, since I'm here. And there's one of these chests, too. Was that? No, I guess it wasn't an artifact. I was really hoping, but I think it was just, you know, axe silver or something. It's another Valkyrie. Yes, it is. Are we doing this? On my action. That raven. We'll need, we'll need to find more. Yeah, okay, so after this, we just need the artifact. Looks like we're doing this. That's not what I wanted to use. Okay, this is off to a terrible start. Oh, that took her a while. Her attacks are slow. I don't know how to avoid that. Cause it's like, it's not an attack I can dodge really. I didn't realize that was a freaking ah, man, that sucks. Thought that was blockable. There. I I just don't know. I don't know how to deal with the blindness stuff. You have freed me. Who did this to you? I remember only pain and my queen. She locked me down here? But why? Ah, oh, Sigrun. Well, I must leave you now. I must find her. I must. Remember.
Sounds like your queen is responsible head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but she had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Mamir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible, then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's going to watch your back? All right. So, apparently, for the for the attack where she does the blinding thing, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a an attack an attack that you can avoid because you know it's kind of like an AOE explosion type thing. But apparently, if I shoot her with Atreus's arrows, then that'll disrupt the attack and prevent it from going off. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. See, I read the guide after I finished the fight. <laughs> I kind of like to figure these things out for myself, but you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there for, you know, a long time trying to figure it out. If I get stuck, I don't have a problem looking it up in a guide, but I do try to figure it out for myself first. But anyway, unfortunately, I had to use my resurrection stone. It sucked. But oh well. I mean, the fight's not that hard. Especially now that I know about the uh, arrow thing. Like, probably gonna be a lot easier. To uh, maybe not, not get blinded, I guess. Does Atreus automatically equip those arrows in here? Interesting. All right, so the only thing I need to do is find this last artifact. So I'm going to have to really explore this place and uh, I'm just going to have to see what I can find. So anyway, I will be back when I find that. Alrighty, so we're back at, you know, this place where the raven was on the bridge and I opened that bridge up. So here's the torch. I think this can be broken. Yep. I was right here. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> well, there we go. That should be everything. One last thing, I guess I found a hidden treasure. I did not expect to find this, so whoops. But uh, Collegial Catalyst. Be used to upgrade the Charm of Infinite Storm. What does that mean? I don't know. And Eye of Fury, legendary enchantment. Reduces rage cost of using attacks while in Spartan Rage by 15%. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Don't blink. So which one was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, did not expect that. But anyway. Yeah, that's going to be it for right now. I'm going to uh, go to a, whatchamacallit, a mystic gateway and get ready to uh, travel back to Brock and Sindri's and... Upgrade armor, and then we'll go to Alfheim, I think. Yeah, I think, I think that's the plan. Wait, there's more Bramble? Jesus. Why am I finding all this stuff now? Alright, I think that's it, so... Yeah. I think... I think I'll see you guys back in uh, Alfheim.